here we have Dan Graney from Bailey Bailey Week. Bailey Week. Oh, I'm sorry. I always I can't do it. Okay, it's okay. It's our fault for choosing a, a somewhat obscure name. It's based on this old English word Bailey Week that has a C. We took out the C. You make it a little bit more internet friendly, also more about co-creating it, mm -hmm. creating it together. You yeah. Know? And so, but if you don't know about that, it, it could be, you can go to the wrong website. So you have to look for Bailiwick, make sure autocorrect doesn't stick a C in there, you know. No C. No, no C. C. Bailiwick, no C, helps people turn places into communities. Our initial and primary goal was always to help people organize their neighborhoods. Okay. But we always felt there's lots of other shared places. And so what people use it for is kind of up to them. The goal is to give people the experience of being a member of a community, a real world community, a sense of membership and connection. And this is a little, you know, over top, top it. It's unconditional mem membership in, a, in the okay. human race. That's really what it's about, is that you and I, me and the person on the other side of the wall of my building, we have a relationship to each other. And that really, and, and that's, it's a real thing and it's under acknowledged and underserved. It should be acknowledged, you know, we don't, we don't want to make too much of it. We just want to support it in its proper healthy form. For how long has it been since you started this um, app? Well, this is, it goes back a while. Okay. Um, probably about five years ago, a friend and I first decided to build something that advanced the basic goal, okay. which was helping build a sense of community mm -hmm. around the places with the people that are around you, the people that you live near or the people that you work near, the, the actual human beings around you. We, that was our basic goal. And we originally built a website mm -hmm. that did that. And we operated that and had learned things from it. But eventually we came to realize that for it to, to be successful on a larger scale, it really needed to be an app. And so, there, and, and we sort of went, so now we're at like version 2.0, which we're just sort of pushing out now, you know? Oh, I see. It's very important in that, that we don't turn places into communities. We can't do that. We don't have that power. No app can do that. We need a person who has that as something that they want to do. And those, you know, they create a community. We need those people, or we want to work with those people and for those people to help those people accomplish that goal. So we're a tool uh -huh. to help a person who wants to build a sense of community mm -hmm. around a shared real world place. But I am the, the president, CEO, co-founder, lead investor, and, and overall, you know, product fusser over, but I have many wonderful people helping me and doing different you know, tasks that are super important that I can't do myself. Well, in addition to an incredibly wonderful tech team led by my project manager, Noel Saw, who's yeah. a great project manager for people to do, and Matt Taylor, his, his lead developer. We have our, that's our on the line team. Then we have our offline, which is our community team, which is Gabby Corse and Steve Hankin. And, you know, our little project has just attracted certain people. Oh. You know, and they attract the people that responded to it. Yeah. And, and as a result, we have these wonderful people who are warm, giving, connecting people that want to see in our app something to accomplish their own goals. So Gabby, okay. who leads Monday Motivation, yes. was working as the community lead for a co-working site that's been a wonderful friend and partner of ours called Blank Spaces. And they're here in Santa Monica and Culver City and okay. several other locations in the city. And they, they were a community-oriented co-working site, and they wanted to foster a sense of community. So Gabby already had this role of being a community organizer there. Okay. So she responded to our desire to help create community, okay. and then she had her own ideas for how to do this. You know, and, and one of these was Monday Motivation, which is like a, a meeting where people share their goals. And, and it's very aligned with our values. Uh, those weekly events, you would join one of our existing bailiwicks, as we, we call them, which is Culver City or downtown Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of our pilot programs, our flagship, where our team is most active and supporting them. Mm -hmm. And if somebody creates a new bailiwick and they want us to help them, you know, with some programming, you know, some activities, we get our team is eager both to have those meetings and that sort of thing, to invite you to our existing meeting, 
and also to, you know, just to come up, co-create this together. You know, there's there's things to be added, things to be learned about how oh. how to um, best accomplish this goal of helping a person create a community. You know, because we want, in addition to building the app, we want to build a culture around our app yeah. that, is, that is supportive and collaborative and friendly. And so, mm -hmm. so Gabby's Monday Motivation yep. is an example of that. Okay. Steve Hankins leads, has been leading two different discussions. One on, one is sort of a social justice discussion, and then the other is sort of a lighter one that's about movies and pop culture on the weekend. And, and it's just, you know, there's things that are fun. We have a goal mm -hmm. of helping people connect online and off. That's a, a real mantra of ours is online and off. Okay. And COVID makes that a little tricky right now because we can't do the real world connecting that Bailiwick is really meant to help. But our product and our company, our mission is always online and off. So if you were to use Bailiwick, we don't want to, hey, here's the app, see you later. We want to, there's a people in our team that are here to help you succeed in creating a sense of community. Our app is our online part and our team is our offline part, our offline real world people that are, you know, want to help you or anyone else accomplish this mission of turning a place into a community. The one thing we did not seek to sort of put into effect, in filtering by interest. You know, everyone has his own little flavor. Mm -hmm. I hope that the flavor of ours is very supportive to that type of community. And the community that I'm talking about is often a community where the people don't really know who, who's in it. Oh, you, okay. You know some of the people. Mm -hmm. you no, know, because and you know you know some of the people by name, you know some of the people by face, and some of the people are strangers, you know, and and we've tried to set something up, which helps keep leaves the door open, let those people come in. Hey, we all share this place, and then transition to being more connected, you okay. know, in an easy going way. Our app is hopefully useful in sort of fostering the sense of connection and community that those that, that those things, you know, so you can use it as sort of a piece of the, the puzzle. Our view is that the places, it's very much about, it's very place-based. Okay. It's about a place, but the place doesn't have to be a neighborhood and you don't have to be in the place. Like you have to feel some affinity to the place. It's a little bit obnoxious and maybe it was self-defeating. But I said, but our view is that people are connected to people that they don't know they're connected to, you know? And so it's like, it's not just the people who share your little interests, you actually have a connection to the people around you that you don't have any interest with, you know? And- It's like kind of like a classroom. Classroom <laughs> with a diverse- Yeah, and you know how when you go to school, yeah. you get whoever shows up. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's- like to be harmonized. I like the, I feel the harmony. This, uh, That's a very, I uh, love that you use that word. I actually got goosebumps on my arms when you said that word <laughs> because that has been a goal. Okay. It's, it's, oh. it's literally a touchstone of ours. It's conviction, you know? Uh, oh, okay. So it's, it's, it's just, I see it, you know? It, it's really that, that it's, it's frustrated me that this hasn't existed. I'm a writer for television by profession. I've been I, very, okay. very fortunate to be a writer for television. Okay. But in writing for The Simpsons, has been very, very fortunate to be part of that team. But before I did that, I worked in briefly in journalism. Okay. And I worked for USA Today. Okay. And I, and I went on a 50-state trip of the whole country. Wow. With my boss, when, who created USA Today, and he was sort of celebrating the fifth anniversary of USA mm -hmm. Today. And it really was this powerful experience of sort of connecting to people. I was, my job was to go talk to everybody. Mm -hmm. And so, like... I have a picture from there where I'm like interviewing a farmer in the field, you know, mm -hmm. go talk to the farmer in the field, go talk to the, the surfer going down to the beach, go talk to the, the person, you know, cleaning the dishes in the restaurant, you know, um, and that's very much my values, you know, was that everybody's little, everybody's story mattered, every little, everybody's place mattered. And so it just stayed with me, that feeling of connection. And I always thought that there should be something that supported that. You know, that's where it makes, it. that's diverse. I mean, talk about classroom, <laughs> diverse in the whole entire country. Yeah, let me share a moment in that trip. We went to Hawaii. This is 19, 
87 or something like that. Okay. And we go to this beach and it's this black sand beach in Hawaii. And I, my job is just to go talk to people. And I see some guys and maybe bikers or something over there. And I mm -hmm. said, oh, I better go talk to them. You know, and so I get my little notebook and just as I'm going over there, I hear the local reporter who's with us saying, no, don't, don't do that. But it was too late. I'd already committed, but he was, a, he like knew who I was talking to. Like, oh, those are not the kind of guys who want to be part of this. Okay. And, but I went to talk to him and they were incredible. The guy in particular that I talked to was incredibly friendly, covered with tattoos and yeah. a, a little bit intimidating to look at. But, you know, being 22 and whatever, I just asked him about life. I even asked him about his tattoos, you know, whether he was glad he had them all or whatever. And he said, not all. And then when I was walking away, mm -hmm. he ran after me Ooh. and came up and said, if you go swimming, be very careful about the undertow in this corner here because it pulls people out to sea. And to me, that was kind of magic, you know, that, that I... This guy that was allegedly scary, whatever, we connected in a way where he's, he's concerned that I might get drowned. Yeah, you, he cares about you now. You've made the connection. Yeah, it was a very powerful experience. And, and that's, I had the, those sorts of experiences on that trip. And so I always just felt like there's something more to be done on that. The other book is driven by a desire to help people build yeah. a sense of community. It's, it's driven by that, that value, that mission, and everything in it is for that purpose. And I think that leads to something which is subtly, but very really different from the other things that are out there. It's kind of like the difference between two restaurants. Okay. You know, like it's, it's the, it's the vibe, you know, in Bailiwick. Okay, that's a good one. Oh, it's like, uh, I, I felt the energy, like uh, um, not only friendly, but like uh, sincere and pure. pure. Well, thank you. I, I mean, you're picking up on what we are hoping to be putting down. Okay. You know? So, um, so, so thank you very much for letting me talk uh, about this with you and sharing my, our experience. And then it's in the app store, it's in the Android store. And in fact, it's exciting that you, and our, we're updating our website. You can, you can go to the app store or the Android store from our website, you know, the, there's links. Um, okay. Or you can just go directly to the app store or Android store. And, um, you know, you can either create your own community or you can join one that somebody else has set up. And, you know, it works best, you know, at this stage in our life cycle mm -hmm. for people that have a community that they can sort of bring with them. We'll see, we'll see you on Bailiwick. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you so much.